Okay, so I have two pieces of this, um, I call it like a test arm. Uh, this shinier one that you see is PETG. And this slightly dull one is uh, HIPS. You can see the HIPS actually did warp slightly, whereas PETG was completely flat. These grooves are meant for uh, carbon fiber tubes. So I'm just going to do a very simple kind of like a brick test with my hands. I've done this before with the HIPS and look what happens. Yeah. And that was just with my hands. So that's why the carbon tubes are there. Uh, carbon strips are supposed to be embedded so that it doesn't uh, snap in the middle. <coughs> so this is the first time I'm going to try it with the PETG. Uh, these were printed at 100% fill. Uh, this was a 0.6 mm layer with a 0.8 mm, uh, 0.8 mm uh, nozzle. So PETG, here we go. Okay, try harder. <coughs> this is very <really> much. <coughs> Okay, I literally am going to fold it in half and it's still not broken. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, okay that's how much effort, oh, how much more effort it takes for a PETG to, well, not really break. In fact, I had to release, release, kind of bend it back and forth before it broke. So, looks good, uh, prints well. Prints flat, prints uh, odorless and everything. So I'm confident this will be the one to go for. <laughs>